I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will check for skew lines. Skew lines are the lines which are actually not parallel but they do not intersect also. Reason being that they are in planes and those planes are parallel. Okay, let's look into this question. Show that the following are skew lines. L1 is R1-24, S13-1, S belongs to real numbers. Line 2 is 0, 3, minus 3, that's the position vector. Parameter t times 214, where t belongs to real numbers. Now in this, you will notice that the directions are 214 and 13 minus 1, right? Since d1, which is 13 minus 1, is not a scalar multiple of d2, right, which in our case is 2, 1, 4, we can say that the lines are not parallel. Is it okay? Not parallel. So that is the first observation. So if they are not parallel, they have to intersect if they are in the same plane. But if they are in the planes which are parallel, they will not intersect, right? That's the whole idea. So let us see if these are skew lines or not. So which we can only find by trying to find the point of intersection. Now how do you find point of intersection? For each line, we'll write down their parametric form. So for the line one, uh, we can write x equals to one plus, I mean one plus s, right? Y equals to minus two plus three s and z equals to 4 minus s, right? For the other set, we can write for line 2, which is 0, x is equals to 2t, y is equals to 3 plus t, and z is equals to minus 3, 4t, right? So plus 4t. So that is what we have. Now, from the first set, we can get an equation. Both are x, right? So if we have a point of intersection, these two x values should be same, right? So that gives us an equation, which is 1 plus s equals to 2t, right? Similarly, from the second set, if they intersect, these y's should be same, right? Therefore, we get an equation, which is minus 2 plus 3s equals to 3 plus t. Is that okay? So these are the two equations which we have got. We need to solve these equations to find the value of s and t. So we can do substitution. From here we can say that s is equal to 2t minus 1. Is it okay? So from here we can say that. Now we'll substitute this value here. So we get minus 2 plus 3 times 2t minus 1 equals to 3 plus t. Now let's solve for t now. So we have minus 2 plus 6t minus 3 equals to 3 plus t. Bring them together. This is uh, 6t minus 5 and then minus 3 minus t equals to 0. 6t minus 3, 6 minus t is my 5t and this is minus 8. We'll take it to the right side. So it is 8. So t is equals to 8 over 5. Once we get the value of t, we can find what s is. So s is equals to 2 times t, which is 8 over 5, take away 1, right? So this is 16, take away 5 over 5 or 11 over 5. Is that okay? So we get 11 over 5 as the value of s. Okay. So now let's get back to the question itself. We have t as equal to 8 over 5 and s is equal to 11 over 5. Now if I substitute these values in the third set of equation, which is for z. And if I get same point z, in that case, we say that the lines intersect. Otherwise, they don't, right? So that's the key. 
So we'll now substitute these values here. So if I write s equals to 11 over 5, what do I get? I get z equals to 4 minus 11 over 5, and that is 5 times 4 is 20 minus 11 over 5, and that gives us 9 over 5. And for this equation, we get z equals to minus 3 plus 4 times 8 over 5. 8 over 5. And that gives us minus 15 plus 32 over 5, right? And that is, if you take away, so 12 take away 5 is 7, and 2 take away 1 is 17. We get 17 over 5. So these two values do not match. So they are they are not equal, right? Therefore, since z values do not match, there is no point of intersection. It really means that the lines are skew lines and therefore we have skew lines. Is it okay? So, so we found that these lines are indeed skew lines. So that is how you can do it, right? So I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.